Hey guys, Brad from Road of Heat back at it with another 2020 player outlook. Today we're talking LaVisca Chenault, wide receiver, running back, Jacksonville Jaguars. And as always, if you've been enjoying all this amazing content from the RotoHeat.com team, hit the like, hit the subscribe, the notification icon, you can stay up to date. Every time we go live, we do nightly live streams throughout the week, especially during the season. We got DFS on Friday nights and Sunday mornings. We got all these player outlooks. Chanel's not the only one. We've got plenty that we've already done. We've got plenty to come. So keep it locked in here to Roto Heat on YouTube. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. All right. So we got to set the table for explaining Chanel's 2020 outlook. At this point, we have seen the Jaguars are, are booting guys off the team that don't fit the culture. They've gotten rid of Fournette, who's, who's had, you know, um, you've heard news broke that there's there's trouble in the locker room, things like that. They got rid of Ramsey last year because he wasn't um, fitting in their long-term plans. Uh, they're also gotten rid of guys who are a little bit older that, that may or may not have been leaders on the team, but aren't going to survive their rebuild because it'll take a little bit longer. You know, Calais Campbell, one of those guys. Um, so they're going younger. They're going with maybe... Um, some more question marks at different positions, you know, with the with the getting rid of Fournette, that means they're leaning on either a young guy like Armstead or a vet like Thompson who's been injured a bunch. So this team is is going through a transition. So 2020 is going to be a year that they're going to have a lot hit a lot of bumps in the road. Um, Chenault, the player himself, is a super talented kid, great physicality. Uh, most of the pre-draft process, if you were watching what uh, what the different analysts were saying. Chenault is a wide receiver and a running back and a running back and a wide receiver. I mean, he can kind of do it all. Uh, he brings a dynamic playmaking ability at every level. So he can take sweeps and, and different plays out of the backfield and make something out of nothing. Uh, he is a good route runner. He's got good ball skills. And, and you had to in that Colorado offense where um, it, the quarterbacks weren't really NFL caliber and really weren't even close to NFL caliber. Chenault had to make something out of nothing, and a lot of times he did that. So with all that being said, 2020, Chenault's going to be a guy that they move all over the field. But we have to remember Jacksonville's offense, it now is going to run through guys like DJ Chark and possibly an Armstead, Thompson, Robinson, whomever their running back be. Uh, combo. So the offense, you know, the kind of the top two options are going to be those guys. After that, all bets are off because now you've got D.D. Westbrook, you've got uh, Chris Connolly, you've got Tyler Eifert, uh, you know, obviously Chenault. So there's, so you have to figure out who that kind of that second option in the passing game is going to be. Chenault's got the talent to do it. Now, obviously, we know that he's been hurt some in his college career, and it, but it's been random. So it's not like there's a there's a correlation or a history of, of the same injury over and over. So what to make of him? Yes, he has an injury history, but is he really injury prone? I mean, that's that's the conversation that you have to you have to work through. So in 2020, these are a lot of question marks, and a lot of question marks in in our mind at Roto Heat is let him go, let him slide down. If you're if you're in redrafts, he's not a guy you're taking early. You're taking him in the teens. You know, you're you're uh, at that point you're looking at upside. Because if the offense does get him involved in a lot of different ways, then that could produce some fantasy points. He could be kind of a bye week type guy. But he's not somebody you're going to be on, be able to lean on. His ceiling, we think, is probably about a wide receiver too. Because you got to remember, um, last year, if we take for instance last year, Foles and Minshew threw 589 pass attempts. You know, that was like 12th most in the league. Um, so Jacksonville could potentially be airing it out a bunch. So that could give Chenault opportunity to get up into the wide receiver type two category if he stays healthy, they involve him in the offense, and, and he picks it up and, and is running with it quickly. <clears throat> so, you know, you put all that together. You put the ability to be a kind of a pseudo running back because he's built like one, you know, his size and his frame. Um, he's a He's got great play strength. He's a he's strong kid with good acceleration. You know, you put all that together with his ability on the outside to be a solid receiver, I mean, he has potential. Now the question is, can Minshew get the ball to him on a regular basis, or is he just gonna focus in on like Shark or the running backs? You know, um, is he going to pick up the offense quickly enough to really be a dynamic piece of it? So these are all things that you have to think about, and as you're going into your drafts, that's something that we lean on saying, you know what, we'll just, we're not gonna jump early on him. There'll be other guys that we can take there, other positions, and we'll just kind of let the board uh, 
uh, play out if he falls to a certain round, you know, in the teens, then we start having that conversation. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, give us your take on Chenault. Uh, is he somebody you've drafted? Where have you drafted him? We want to know. Keep the conversation going on Discord. We have a, a redraft specific Discord channel that you can come in and talk and ask your questions. Plenty of guys will come in and, and on the clock ask questions about these guys are available, who are you taking? Um, we've got a Facebook community. We've got all sorts of different places for you to ask questions. You know, I get guys shooting me DMs with rosters and who's on the clock and who should they take. And, you know, here the RoadHeat.com team is here to help. We want to make your fantasy season successful. We want to do our best to help you give, give you the best opportunity to, to win in 2020 and beyond. Um, reach out. Let us know. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, do all the things. Uh, if you really liked it, really liked it, rotoheat.com slash Patreon, show a little love in the uh, department. Uh, help us uh, keep, keep the channel going and keeping everything we're doing rocking. So we'll see you guys next time. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it. Watch the videos. Do it. You want to. Do it.